before I can do a problem for you, because you still have some other ones to do. Um, so this one has the vertical major axis length of eight, minor axis length of six, and the center at the origin. If you guys go back to my notes, the first thing I do is I tell you to plot the information. Well, it kind of doesn't, it's not going to help you to plot the length of a major and a minor axis if we don't know, kind of know where they, where they are. So the first thing we're going to do is create an x and a y axis. All right, but then again, I still don't know, is the length, is this vertical axis length over here? Is it over here? So what's fortunately for me is I do have, they tell us that the center is at the origin. So there is my center at the origin. Now again, the vertical axis length, if you guys remember, here's your ellipse. The vertical axis is from, or your major axis, is from vertice to vertice, right? And we need to figure out what the vertices is. And the center is right in the middle. So if they're telling me the length from here to here is 8, I just want to know what the length is from here to here. So if from here to here is 8, how far is it just from here to here? 4. four. Well, fortunately now, I know where the center is. So I can kind of transpose this over here and just say 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you don't really need to graph this. 1, 2, 3, 4. But a lot of people, I think, they, it helps them understand. So I'm going to write a is equal to 4. Now, the next thing is the minor axis. The minor axis length is from covertice to covertice. So plotting the information would be very, very helpful. So now, if I know from Alex, covertice to covertice is 6, but all I care about is from here to here, because that's the value of b, right? So if from here to here is 6, what is the length from here to here? 3. B equals 3. Now, the other thing that comes up to this is determining the right equation. You have to determine, Nadia, the correct equation to writing the equation of ellipse. So if you guys remember, there's two equations. We have the equation where we have a horizontal major axis or a vertical major axis. And you look at it, and rather than having to go back through your notes every single time, if you guys look at the vertical major axis, remember that A is always under Y, because A represents the, lar the longer major axis, right? So A is under Y, um, B is under the X. So my equation is going to be X minus H squared. Let's do it over here. So I have X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. And then that's over b squared over a squared equals 1. Does everybody follow me? Now the origin is the coordinate point 0, 0. So that's h and that's my k. I can just plug in all the information, x minus 0 squared over b, which is 3 squared, plus y minus 0 squared over a squared, which is 4, equals 1. So does everybody see how I just plugged in the information? Daniel, can you put that down, please, actually? Down, face down, face down, face down. There you go. Good, thank you. So does everybody see how that just plugged in? And now we just simplify it. I don't really need to write minus 0. So my final equation would be x squared over 3 squared is 9 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. And that is your answer to question number 1. And that's all you do. Just follow the process, step by step by step.